Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to five golds versus five golds. But the catch being each team thinks that they are against a five stack of champion players. But of course, no one in this lobby is champion. All 10 of these players are gold. But I went in and I made sure to tell each team that they were against a five stack of champ players. And I also made sure that they would stay out of the all chat. I told them that by typing in all chat, it makes my frames go down a lot. So I asked them to not type in chat. That way, you know, nobody spills the beans on us, right? So hopefully we're going to have some fun comps. I've got a couple of these guys recording. Uh, hopefully everything, you know, works out there and we'll get some fun comms, some funny moments in from there. And uh, yeah, we'll see how this game goes. But these oh, guys like 0.76 KD gold one. Oh yeah, no. Yeah, All right, who, might be a little who, bit. Who in our lobby is the hidden champ? No, me. There's, probably, there's gotta be a champ hidden with yeah, us. Me, ate me, that's for sure. Bro. <laughs> I know a few of these players were already a little bit worried. I know uh, the blue team specifically was a little bit worried about Days because he has a four letter name. You know, he's got that OG name and normally, Normally, you know, you kind of think of high high ranking players having these, you know, four letter names or whatever. So blue team is already shaken a little bit because of his name. Attackers are heading out to defuse a bomb. A little bit of a spawn peak coming out from cream cheese right now. Is it gonna work? I don't know. He kind of hit the door a little bit early. Generally, we see people hit the door a little bit late. Uh, but he's just starting to hit it early. Days of the first kill of the match. Blue team had a reason to be worried. Cream Cheese following it up with another kill. Nice shots by these guys. That is going to be the Thatcher and Finca going down. Not before Silver on the Twitch refrags. There goes your Warden player. 3v4 now for the blue team. Wow, we actually see Glizzy McGuire all the way up on top white right now. And I'm not sure if anyone's here to flank him. Doesn't look like it. See Scent going in underneath, trying to get those uh, K charges off the wall so he's able to open it up. Pretty much a, a stalemate right now. Not much happening from either side. Although we did see Glizzy McGuire go all the way up white stairs and then just retreat all of a sudden. Mirror window on the attic wall. Going to do a little bit of damage onto Glizzy. C4 might come out here from uh, Cirrus. I'm going to call him C Cyrus. I'm calling him Cyrus. And if that's the wrong pronunciation, I apologize. Lazy McGuire taking a lot of damage. Those thorn traps in a little bit of a trouble to uh, the blue team here. Silver also on low HP. This mirror window of Cyrus is just actually destroying them right now. Melee going to come out from Glizzy McGuire onto the mirror window. Both of them 1 HP. Day is going to get two kills and Xyla with the final kill of the round on the Glizzy. Good round by the orange team to clutch that out. Nice guys. Did I feel bad for these guys? I don't think the champ chief. <laughs> Yeah. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to really hear what any of these players are saying. You guys will know what they're saying right now, uh, but I'm in the dark, uh, obviously, because I'm recording this and I'm not going to be able to see what is in their recordings just yet. But hopefully it's funny. I want to see maybe uh, maybe the orange team is feeling pretty confident right now. They just got a 1-0 lead against the quote unquote champ players. So maybe they're feeling a little bit confident when they shouldn't. <laughs> The construction. Here, I'll, I can play. I can play shield. You, you play shield? Yeah, I got it. I'll play. I'll I'm, play. I'm holding no pixel already, and then I'll fall back. Yeah, they go. Yep. Smoke playing elbow. Whoa. Oh, yeah, to Chanka. Yeah. He's playing. He's playing blue. Not blue. Actually, yeah. Pin Look up, for a back stairs push. He's, be he's, be he's behind that. I'm gonna. Cyrus doing a pretty good job of denying this staircase. I'm not gonna lie. He is using utility a little bit early, but that definitely is a thorn in the side of the blue team here. And I don't know why, but it looked like Iana was uh, trying to hide his Iana clone from the fire. But I don't think the fire actually does anything to it. Correct me if I'm wrong, though. Grenade's going to come out and down himself. That's Silver nading himself and doing a fair amount of damage onto Super Speed. So that is unfortunate. Another nade coming out. He's just going to stand right in front of the line of sight of Cyrus. who's going to get an easy kill. Wow. It's going to refrag uh, or not refrag, but just get a kill of his own with the mp5 mp5 on mute that is interesting silver with now a self-inflicted uh 80 hp reduction trying to push in through the bunker right now but days is just sitting here with the shotgun and i honestly don't think silver has the hp to tank it we'll see how this is gonna go no grenades left either as he used the last one on himself quick peeks coming out from 
And not going to happen though. Cyrus with the kill. Sent with the kill onto Daze. Going for two, but not quite going to get it. Z going to get a kill onto Sent. And Silver with the refrag onto Z. Two kills actually on the cream cheese, but Cyrus going to refrag. Wow. I bet the orange team is feeling pretty confident with the 2 0 win against the quote unquote champs right now. I was both my knees. It's like horrible. God, bro. Yeah. If I saw it, I'm probably going to be kitchen on the sign. Kitchen. You going to go for a smoke plant? Think the whole kids in dorm? Or just uh, one part of it? Just we play can just play heavy above kids. presence and then somebody can anchor. I can anchor if you can, you can open the hatch, drop off when necessary. Just yeah, yeah. Time. yeah I, don't, I don't got a shotgun, so y'all are. We got alibi. That's all yeah. I, I have a shotgun. Oh. I have a shotgun. <laughs> Clashes the shotgun. Let's go. Clash, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, if, if this isn't the best time to mention, you guys, if you wouldn't mind, checking out the links at the top of the description. Use code SHOCK. Means a lot. Help support me directly. So if you guys uh, are looking to support me a little more than just a sub or a like on the video, consider using code SHOCK with the links at the top of the description. Thank you a lot. So we're going to see a castle barricade here. Not a problem for him though as he's playing the goat sledge. Going to get that barricade open real quick. Not a problem whatsoever. Now I believe the defense is kitchen right now. So they're going to try to hold upstairs as long as they can. But they do have that hatch inside of the kid storms to fall down if they need to. Wow, we actually see Glizzy already inside of dining, just or not dining, uh, mall tower on the door to dining right now. So they are pushed up pretty far. You've got to worry about Cyrus on this clash, though. He's going to push all the way up. I'm going to do a little bit of damage onto Glizzy, but not much. That Claymore actually could end up killing Glizzy. If Clash had walked into that when Ace was next to it, it actually would have blown up and killed Ace. It would have done a decent amount of damage to Cyrus, but not enough to kill him. Cyrus is playing a dangerous game right now, though. We see so many of the attackers here just trying to kill him. Nade's coming out from Silver. Going to do a little bit of damage. Actually, kind of a significant amount of damage. Almost half his HP gone. Now, it doesn't matter. The blue team has control of dining, showers, small tower, which is all cool. But we have to remember that... See, upstairs with the castle through the hatch. They have the upstairs control still, so they're not going to be able to push in through uh, kitchen yet. The blue team will not be able to as they're still, they're still upstairs control. That's going to be the clash taken out the Rip Cyrus. Maybe not a professional clash player, but uh, either way, it did slow them down quite a bit. 55 seconds left. So we're going to try to open up this wall here, but they still got to be careful it's or C. I don't know what to call him. He's just sitting up here on the hash. That's his second kill on the round. Sent with a nice refrag, but will it be enough? 45 seconds left. 3v3. I would say the orange team definitely has the advantage here with it still being above. Cream cheese above with them as well. I don't know if cream cheese necessarily needs to be here. So C's going to go ahead and drop now. And where are our attackers? We've got Pan all the way in almost all the way into meeting right now i don't know how he even got to where he is he's gonna get taken out by days nice shot by days sent all the way back in small tower still he needs to push up we're actually gonna be seeing a plant coming out from super speed he's gonna get taken out by c though planting all the way in meeting away from his teammates all up to sent now with one second left on the clock he's gonna down cream cheese and he actually came to a 1v1 there days and cream cheese were down it was all up to c against sent there but C was able to pull it out a 3-0 so far for the orange team wow use you should only use oh, you shouldn't use any castles upstairs oh no okay you should uh castle split green hall security door and maybe bottom light window yeah just then you should take us from castle i hope like you guys are gonna know if they're on to you know kind of the video cuts up here i hope they're not i hope everyone is is still fooled i hope everyone on the orange team thinks they're still against champs and uh they're just smoking them but uh, we'll, we'll see i guess we'll see for the in the recordings okay i couldn't aim like the fucking bit i can't, I can't aim either i just woke up and saw this post <laughs> me too i guess it's my first game of siege today interesting a rooney placements here by silver deciding to place one on the door to the staircase there i'm not sure why he did that i would have placed it 
maybe on that hole he made for his bulletproof camera but uh, regardless interesting decision lots of holes still needed to be made by the blue team as well they just don't seem as put together as the orange team is very interesting a zombie placement i'm not sure what that was supposed to do there oh i see they want pan to hide behind it okay i mean i guess but i feel like people are gonna check this now because the zombies there silver with an aggressive peek into master not doing any damage onto the orange team but he is going to take a little bit of damage himself now we're going to be seeing the orange team doing a looks to be a, a big tower take here with the maverick and they've also got uh who else is with them see and with them as well but glizzy with the first kill of this round from the blue team onto cream cheese but days with a refrag on the osa player nice shots by him he's looking for to get a second kill and he's gonna get it that's glizzy going down 3v4 now for the blue team here they're on defense and they're losing bodies this quickly it's really not what you want to see S looks like a smoke grenade coming out from days onto the head holes um, i'm not sure why he would do that as there was a bulletproof that can see through those head holes um, but regardless he's going to get taken out and super speed getting put onto one hp by c not a good start for him whatsoever Valid breaching. It's not ever close. Like breaching rotate. Lose your Maverick, but Cyrus gonna refrag with the ace. He's looking to get a second kill on descent. He's gonna get it. Nice shots by him. Going for the 3k, and he's gonna miss it. C stealing that. GG's. 4-0 victory for the orange team. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are on to map two here. Orange team with a pretty decisive win over the blue team. 4-0 on oregon but we're gonna move to border we don't we don't see much border in these videos so why not we're gonna play border i was thinking of going to like clubhouse or something but it's too basic we always play those maps we're headed to border and hopefully the blue team is able to show us something that they weren't able to last map on oregon because they got actually destroyed now if i had to bet without hearing the comms i would say that maybe the orange team is a little bit suspicious if whether or not the blue team um our champs that's what i have that's what i'd have to guess but i i believe the blue team right now probably thinks the orange team is definitely champs because they just got completely wiped so i'm sure those comms are uh pretty funny right now <laughs> yeah, like, good. i average, oh, I average good on valerie i average like five fan yes he has, has nasa hey, wi-fi yeah. bro has a satellite on top of his <laughs> can you double Jaeger on ping two please or like somewhere putting you close to ping two I made some buttholes on, um... Looks like Cream Cheese is setting up some spawn peaks with Oryx right now. We'll see if he's able to get anybody on the blue team right now. Looks like most of them are gonna spawn east. If not, actually, all of them are gonna spawn the east side. So, uh, Cream Cheese is not going to get anybody with this spawn peak. But what this looks like to me from the blue team is actually gonna be an east stairs rush. They've got the Cali to shoot open the door. They've got the Montane ready to walk in and plant they have to worry about this mirror window from cyrus though who just took a little bit of damage from that cali actually uh, about 25 of his health so not a good start for him yet wow xyla with a kill on a super speed days with one onto glizzy and we're actually going to see a kill from who was that glizzy onto cream cheese so that's the oryx going down 3v5 already for the blue team not a good start this is not what we wanted to see from them on the second map does he like end? Yeah, they dropped top AC, right side. We, we can just ignore her guys, I guess. Like, we, we only need one person. Wait, he dropped the AC. Yeah, Here, Kali. Just don't peek it, guys. Don't peek it. They, they, they can't do shit if they don't enter. Yeah, it's back AC is uh, someone that LA. So I'm gonna try to get Now they might do something. You really wanted to. Yo, shoot, shoot your gun, Kali. Shoot your gun. Oh my god, no. Cyrus just turning the corner with the C4 in his hand, and that's going to be sent getting taken out. Days with a run out onto Pan. All up to Silver in the 1v4, but it's not going to happen. Xylo shuts him down. I liked the push. I liked the idea coming from the blue team, but they had to be a little bit quicker, and the cover needed to be a lot better. <laughs> this seems like five golds versus five covers. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah and, and, I'm, and I'm going 0-1 against them, dude. I feel so... I mean, I'm going low. Yeah. Nah, but I should have killed a Nomad if, like, I, I fired at her head so much and it just, like, didn't kill her. I'm, I'm gonna be playing in bathrooms. Yeah.
not so I can take hitches. Yeah. Bro, Capcom is so OP in border against bad players. The more spawn peaks coming out from Cream Cheese, but once again, I don't think anyone is spawning Valley side. No, everyone is spawning West and East side for the blue team. So once again, Cream Cheese is going to be left empty handed on that spawn peak. Is that droning out archives actually going to spot out the Ella player of Cyrus playing inside of Armory, who's actually got the shotgun. You actually don't see Ella shotgun that often anymore. At least I don't think you do. Now the bomb site for the orange team is going to be bathroom tellers. So the blue team really needs to figure out what kind of push they want to do. We see 25 cent here on the East stairs. We see super speed trying to push in through armory. We've got silver uh, trying to push in from downstairs. Glizzy pushing break room. Everyone's kind of too too far apart but that's gonna be cream cheese getting a kill onto pan silver refragging onto him 25 cent the kill of his own onto cyrus so bringing us to a 4v3 the blue team finally ahead for once but days is looking like he's gonna try to get a kill out of silver but it's not gonna happen silver wins that engagement the f2 just shoots too fast putting him on a 1 hp though and scent is pretty low himself so they got to be careful now Luster charges coming out through the floor here not gonna hit anything though although i believe uh C is right underneath this cluster charge. He actually might take a little bit of damage. Not quite. Lizzie all the way into the, the teller's window. And he's going to get blown up by my favorite Kapka trap. Zylo turning the odds into his team's favor with that Kapka trap. A nice two-piece from him on the Kapka. That is the actually that is actually the best Kapka trap spot in the game. A uh, ballsy prefire coming out from Silo onto 25 cent as well. He was pretty much one HP at this point. Got to be very careful how he chooses to engage the Silo still on full HP, although that AK-12 does rip. A lot of damage onto Silo. Super speed trying to push in through this Teller's window. 25 cent still above. Silo's desperately trying to kill him. Grenades coming out from Super Speed, but not going to hit just yet. C just holding down on this window, making sure no one can hop through it. They really need to nade out uh, Zylo here, but the nades are going to keep missing. I don't know what they're doing with these nades. That's going to be... <laughs> wow. C with the kill and a 25 cent. Super with the refrag. And finally, Zylo to get the last kill. Zylo, 5-0. I believe he was top frag last game and this game so far. I, I got to stop playing stupid and running at people. <laughs> I'm playing, I'm playing so Workshop? Bad, yeah, workshop works. Are we I'll gonna extend it to bathroom or no? I'll go castle uh, and go second floor. I'll just castle everything above us. I'll, I'll probably extend it into bathroom and see how that plays. Somebody with mute or something, or like a bandit, would be nice upstairs. Yeah. One or two. One it's fine if not. Yeah, can you electrify the wall, wall upstairs? Yeah, yeah I'll electrify the wall and armory wall? Okay. Armory, and yeah, one. Yeah. Just armory and then uh, electrify what's it called? Um, RK such. Cream G is trying to go for another one of his spawn peaks. Every round he's trying to go for one, but this time he actually might get one as Glizzy is trying to contest the angle that he's holding. Glizzy, you're staring right at him. Cream Cheese, though, with the finally getting that spawn peak he's been wanting, but Silver going to fly in through detention and get that refrag. Looks like we're going to see Daze trying to come over and contest this push right now. He's got to be careful, though, as Pan is trying to get some wall bangs. Barely missing that Azami. If that brick wall wasn't there, Xylo would surely be dead right now. Fortunate for him that he's hugging that wall. Silver so gonna get taken out by Daze. He forgot to check the rest of customs and he's gonna pay the price for it now. Bomb is down inside of customs and the blue team looks like they're in a really bad spot to try to win this here. Cyrus taking a lot of damage. Finally gonna get down from Pan here. And wow, Pan actually gonna get another kill onto Daze. Trying to get the finish onto Cyrus and he's gonna get that. Wow, Pan bringing this round back for his team. He's got Xyla who's trying to contest him right here on the open holes. He could try to get an easy kill there and he's going to triple kill for Pan. Nice shots by him. 25 cent and super speed need to push into the site and help him now. Floor holes going to be coming out from C who's the last remaining player from the orange team. This could be the first round of the entire matchup that the blue team wins. Well played to them. Wow, Pan really pulling out for his team right there and able to secure that triple kill. Well played by him.
Oh, and Amara rush by C, just trying to fly into that ventilation window or sandwich window, but not going to work as super speed is going to shut him down for that. Although we're going to see A's on downstairs through that ventilation window, going to do massive amounts of damage on the 25 cent with the grenades from below. And Cyrus, the ace, already able to open up the main armory wall. So the speed and efficiency we are seeing from the orange team is just not something we've been seeing from the blue team. But with that being said, they do have the man advantage. But as I say that, Xylo with the refrag from C earlier, going to take out Silver. So nice shots by him with that DMR. Trying to get a second kill onto either the K to the mirror here. K is going to swing. Xylo just not looking at the right time. Barely going to miss that kill. Finca is sitting there watching on the rappel himself, though. Nice kill by Xylo. Two kills for Xylo on the Glizzy and Scent. He's going for a third off that mirror window or that mirror of super. Cyrus with a kill of his own. It's all up to super speed right now. Who's in the 1v4 scenario. Team kill coming out from Daze down onto uh, Daze himself. And then who was this? I'm not sure who this is, but they were able to win out the rounds. Who was Thatcher? Cream Cheese. Well played by Cream Cheese. Zyla right now, eight and two for his team. Well played by him. It is currently one to three for the blue team. This is probably going to be the last map of this best of three as the blue team just is not looking very promising here. They're playing a little bit better than they were last game. They actually were able to win around this time, but definitely not playing as well as we'd like to see. Although at the end of the day, this video is supposed to be for fun. It's not, it's not like a, a super competitive anything. Um, mainly we're looking to get some funny reactions from these teams and I guarantee you I'm pretty sure that the blue team is pretty convinced right now that the orange team is champs and at the end of the day That's the best we could ask for five goals versus five coppers. Um, not even warmed up dude. Yeah, same I just hope on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I to college yesterday Second floor again. Is there again, bro? They will learn from their mistakes. Hey, you guys want like another Thatcher or something? Oh, they're blasting open this wall, so just be aware. Uh, I mean, we could. Using shotgun holes by Silver right there. He actually opened up the small closet. And the reason you generally wouldn't want to do this is because someone on Rappel out there can just watch through those holes. As I believe we saw Xyla with the DMR on Dokubi last round get a kill straight through those holes. So it's definitely not something you want opened. Um, but I'm sure they will learn that eventually. Bandit Chicken going to come out from 25 cent though. This is actually nice to see. I don't think he's going to be able to stop both of them though. Oh, Glizzy actually going to walk outside and try to shoot the A charges off. Wow, nice shots by him. That is Xylo, the top frag for the orange team going down. So great shots by him. That's also going to be the buck down. But Cream Cheese going to refrag onto Pan. And there goes your Wamai. Pan being so influential on that previous round that the blue team had won. So that is unfortunate to see him die so early. Two minutes left. Days with a kill of his own. Where is Days at? Can't even find him. There he is. Pushing actually into archives right now. This could be really bad for the blue team as they're so focused on this armory wall right now. Shot's going to come out. This nade might kill two people. Not going to kill Glizzy. He runs out and gets a kill. Cyrus going to refrag though. Days. Probably in sight now at this point. It's all up to Super Speed, who's just stuck in the corner, and Daze knows it. And that is GG's 4 to 1 for the uh, orange team. I was about to say golds, but they're already. Oh, everyone's gold. <laughs> so GG's. They're all coming in. Yeah. Hello, hello. Hello. How are you guys doing? Hey, bro. Please another? don't put any of my whips in there. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how was that, guys? That was pretty. I underperformed. I underperformed. Yeah, same. <laughs> yeah, dude. I I didn't even go positive first game. Like, I did after that so first, bad kill. first game too, and then it was just it switched. I can't, I can't that was rough, man. Is that I was wiping either? the sleepy shit out of my eye, and I saw this post, so I jumped in here. I'm not even awake yet. Hey, bro. We were told y'all were champs, man. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So <laughs> no one here was champs. Everybody here is gold. Oh, yeah. oh really? So how mm -hmm. come they're better than us? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I'd, ex <laughs> I'd explain that. I'm so confused. Like, there's no way they're champs. So, yeah, we so, knew we were champs before we even yeah. got into the game. Really? Yeah, yeah. we were talking yeah. about it. I just, I just happened. I just Damn. happened. Damn, Damn that's unfortunate. The third party I, trackers yeah. are the, the death of this video. <laughs> uh bro, I was looking at the um I was looking at the post while people were posting and I saw Xylo in here, so oh, yeah, but, wait, when I, but when I saw when I saw this guy play, I kept seeing Xylo kill my like 
This yeah, guy's like, like he's he's a yeah. trained gold. He's a trained gold. He's not a cat. He's <laughs> trained, trained gold. gold. <laughs> oh, it's so jarring.